Hi guys, today I'm here to chat about my favorite blushes of all time. These are blushes, most of them I've had for quite some time and have continued to reach for over and over again. I have a couple that are a little bit newer and I haven't decided what I'm going to title this video, if it's like of most reached for blushes or best blushes for NC42, whatever it is. Um, these are all blushes that I really love. If you're of a similar skin tone to me, highly recommend them. I also did a best bronzers for NC42, so I will link that down below. But no matter your skin tone, I think these are all some really gorgeous shades. And on top of that, great formulas as well. So if none of these shades tickle your fancy, the formulas themselves are great as well. So uh, I also did a kind of a mini blush declutter in a recent vlog. I'll link that down below along with my entire declutter series but let's go ahead and get started. I think it's no surprise what I'm going to start out with if you have been watching my channel for any amount of time and as I'm filming this recently actually on that vlog I mentioned somebody told me that this line has been discontinued and if this is true we've got problems. I sent an email to their PR team because I have dealt with them before. I'm waiting to hear back, so I'll let you know on the screen here what has happened. But anyways, the Balm In Stain Blush in the shade Swiss Dot. I really like the entire line, but this shade to me is just, I would say, one of my like top three blushes of all time for a number of reasons. First of all, the color. That's going to be the thing that, you know, is the most important to me, and it's just this really incredible kind of peachy shade that has enough vibe vibrancy in it that it shows up my, on my skin all year round. It's an in-stain blush, so it's meant to be longer lasting on the skin, which is, uh, I think it truly is a really long lasting blush. As you can see, I've hit major pan on this. I don't think I've hit pan on any other blush ever. So if that's not enough of a recommendation, although you can't necessarily go out and buy it now, I don't think. But you may see it at TJ Maxx or Winners or something. Who knows, it might pop up. Um, and if you do happen to see it, I cannot, cannot recommend this blush enough. The newest blush that I have to mention in the bunch is actually one that really reminds me of the Balm in Stain blush, both in shade and in longevity, we'll say. It is the Buxom Wanderlust blush. This is a primer influ influenced, infused blush in the shade Mykonos, and it's a little bit brighter than the Instain blush that I just mentioned, but it gives a really similar flush on the cheeks. It's what I'm wearing right now. It is actually quite pigmented, so go in with kind of a light hand, and I do feel like the fact that it is primer infused or whatever you want to call it, um, I do actually find it to be long lasting on the cheeks because I, I find blush to be one of the things that fades the fastest, especially if you have an oilier skin type. There's six different shades, I think, in this range. I was sent a few of them a little while back, um, but this is the one that jumped out to me immediately, and I really think it's going to be, and has been since i gotten it, um, a favorite for 2019, especially where it's seeming like Swiss Dot may be leaving my life. Oh, I should also say Swiss Dot is completely matte, and then Mykonos, it has like a little bit of shimmer in it, but I don't see much of it really on my cheeks. In general, I'm more of a matte or satin blush gal. I've got a little bit of variety in here today, but I would consider this pre pretty much a matte blush. I should also say, since my blush declutter, I don't know what happened to MAC Coppertone, which 100% would have made it into this video, and I think I might have thrown it out. What is up with me and my favorite blushes leaving my life? Um, that is next to Swiss Dot. In between Swiss Dot and Copper Tone, I could have just thrown on all my blushes, honestly, and used the two of those. So I'm going to link Copper Tone down below. I just don't have it here in front of me. But moving on to some drugstore blushes. These are probably some of my absolute favorite drugstore blushes, both in formula and in their new shade range. The original shade range was abysmal, but it is the Butter Blushes from Physicians Formula, and they re they released some new shades for 2019. I'll link to that video down below so you can get a little more information on those, but I'm still stuck on the 2018 launches, so the one I would say I wear the most is Vintage Rose, and if you are a fan of like a MAC Copper Tone sh uh, type of shade, I find this is similar, a little more peachy than Copper Tone than Neutral, but it's very beautiful on the skin. These both have a satin finish. They do have a bit of a stronger scent. And then this one I smashed and put back together with alcohol and luckily it came back together well. Um, but this one is in the shade Rosy Pink. And this is just, if you have a skin tone that's like 
Actually, I honestly think this would work for just about anybody. It just gives you that perfect rosy tint. And I found myself reaching for this a lot when I was doing a makeup look that probably had no concealer, was a little bit more fresh and glowy. I wanted to look youthful. It just gives a really beautiful um, pinched look to the cheeks. And I find on my skin tone, a lot of the time bright pinks can have too much of a white base or be a little too pastel. And this just really pops on the cheeks in the perfect way. I love the idea of cream blushes, liquid blush, etc and this year I've gotten in or sorry last year I got into a lot more cream contour cream highlight cream blush I'm still I don't know why I just I never ever find myself reaching for it but the one that I definitely do find myself reaching for is from NARS and this is actually the NARS liquid blush uh, you're getting a ton of product in here considering how little you need to use and it's actually so user friendly. My issue with some cream blushes is they're hard to blend out or you have to use particular products. I find that I like this with my fingers. I like it with a sponge and you can also use it with a brush. I definitely find sponge is my favorite. You only need a tiny tiny bit. You dab it on your cheeks. It blends out beautifully. If you want to just use it on its own on your face you can absolutely do that. If you don't want to set it with a powder uh, depending on your skin type and kind of the look you're going for. I'm today pointing out the shade Torrid. It's one of my favorite, but I love all of them. I love Luster as well. Hot Tin Roof was like a limited edition one that they did. That was incredible. Also really long lasting. So if you have oily skin and you have trouble with your blush sticking around, kind of amping up powder products with a liquid is another really great way to get things to stick around and stay more vibrant on the face. So really love these. And I know it's kind of when I when I received this, I was kind of like, oh, I'm never going to reach for that. But I love it so much and I love the shades as well. Let's step back to the drugstore. I actually have a lot of drugstore blushes in here, which is funny because I would have never really said that the drugstore had a very good blush game, but I feel like I'm about half and half with drugstore and high end. So the Makeup Revolution Matte Blush, I have most shades of this, I think, but my absolute favorite is in the shade Fusion. And a lot of these blushes are very peachy. I could call this like best peachy blushes, best, best like neutral peachy, I don't know. The title is up in the air, but this shade specifically I really like. There's another shade called New Rules, which is a really gorgeous coral. But again, I really, really like this because it just, on my skin tone, gives that perfect pop of color. And I like blushes that, for the most part, I can wear with any eye look, any lip look, and I don't have to think about it, but I still want it to be impactful and I want you to be able to see it on my skin. Uh, this is completely matte. The price on the Makeup Revolution blush blushes is incredible. I bought this at Ulta when I was in the States, but I've also ordered from the Makeup Revolution site and had a good experience shipping to Canada. No customs fees or anything like that. It showed up, you know, in a decent amount of time. So really love this. And I also really like the packaging because my issue with a lot of drugstore blushes is that they come in bulky packaging with annoying brushes, blah, 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 blah. <sighs> Physicians formula, <laughs> but this is just like a no must, no fuss package, which I definitely appreciate. I think the only blush that I'm mentioning today that has some shimmer in it is this one here from Too Faced. And I do really like, I tried out a new blush uh, recently from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade The Climax. That's another great one. There's a few that I really like now that I'm kind of thinking about it that act as great blushes and highlights at the same time. But let me know if you'd like a video on that. That blushes that you can put all over your cheek and then kind of skip the highlighter if you want to. Because they're kind of like easy two-in-one blushes. I think that's kind of a good idea. But one of them that I would mention in that video if you do request it is from Too Faced and it is the Papa Don't Peach Blush. And like I said, I'm definitely a matte blush gal and I did a video where I tried this out I think when the peach collection launched and I was really, really impressed with this. And that's one of the reasons I know like people have issues with, you know, people receiving PR and whatever and you know, everyone's gonna have an issue with something. But for me, uh, one of the big benefits of it, besides the fact that I would go broke trying to buy every new launch and every lipstick for a lip swatch video, is that I end up trying products that I would have never tried before and then I'm able to recommend them to you to try and open your eyes to potentially liking them as well. You know, I remember that with the Physicians Formula Foundation, I probably would have never tried that and it ended up being one of my favorites of 2018 and I know a lot of you love that as well. But 
I digress. <laughs> I ended up really loving this blush and on days when I wanted a more natural look, I was low on time, whatever it may be, I really loved the way that this looked. It added that blush, flushed look to the cheeks, but also added some shimmer and shine and glow without it looking like too much. Because if it's going to be super intense, I don't want it like on this part of my face. Um, I just want when the light hits it to have that glow and I felt like it was just such a balance um, between the glow and the blush and it's just a really gorgeous one and it smells like peaches. A brand that I absolutely love and rarely hear people talking about is Lorac and they've been one of my favorite brands for a very long time. A little bit harder to get your hands on in Canada so for my previous job, whenever I went to the United States, I always went to Ulta like day one and hit up the Lorac section to see what was there. And I ended up picking up this blush and it's in the shade Cinematic. It's a little bit deeper than the other blushes that I'm mentioning today, but so gorgeous. It still has this kind of peachiness to it, but it's more of like a neutral peach as opposed to something that's a little bit brighter. And if you are looking at the shades like um, Tarte Exposed, those kind of like neutrally, literally can wear with anything are you even wearing blush but your cheeks still look good kind of shades if that makes sense um i think that this is just so gorgeous this one is matte i think they have mattes and satins they also have highlights i, I encourage you especially if you live in the united states to check out Lorac. i feel like they have such good products and they are totally totally underrated um they were the the brand that got me into wearing gold eyeshadow so like i owe them my life basically but i love love this shade cinematic and i like wearing it on my eyes as well same with mac copper tone Speaking of Tarte Exposed, I feel like that's one of the most mentioned blushes of all time and I have it and I do like it, but I find myself reaching for this one much more. And if you have a little bit of a deeper skin tone, something similar to mine, I think this one is a little bit better than Exposed for my slash your potential skin tone. So this is in the shade Seduce. It's one of the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour blushes and similar to the Lorac Cinematic, it just looks so bleh in the pan. It doesn't look like anything. It almost looks like it'd be too light on my skin tone and I find blushes similar to bronzers are <laughs> A little bit bizarre in that sense that you really need to get it on your face to truly see what it looks like and sometimes the brush can be so impactful something more dense something more fluffy also where you place it on your cheeks and I just absolutely love this color it's the kind of shade that I have traveled with because it is just so easy it's a little bit lighter than the Lorac but like I said I was eyeing um, exposed because everybody was mentioning it but it was mostly people that were lighter than me and I can make it work on my skin tone but I I feel like very rarely does anyone mention Seduce and uh, I definitely love it so much and reach for it all the time. Similar to the Balm Instain blush in Swiss Dot which holds a very special place in my heart, I have two blushes here from Sleek that also I will probably never get rid of. Sleek was the first brand that I ever ordered from online makeup wise because I watched a lot of British YouTubers when I first started watching YouTube in about 2011 I think so I took the plunge and <laughs> purchased some blushes off of the Sleek website for a number of reasons because you know I'm impressionable but also they have great prices they ship to North America now this was years ago obviously so I don't know exactly what it's like to ship from them now but I think it's still pretty good uh, on top of that the shade range is incredible if you have a deeper skin tone they have a huge range of shades and the packaging is not super bulky and annoying like drugstore blushes can tend to be so these are the shades that I picked up another one too that's kind of rose gold but these were the ones that I wore over and over and over I wore this blush for like six months straight. This one is in the shade Sahara. Come on. It's the most gorgeous. I need to start wearing this again. I need to put it on my eyeballs. This was even before I knew how much I loved warm shades. I didn't even know what a warm undertone was when I bought this. But um, this is the kind of thing that I wear on my eyes all the time. But it's also so incredibly complimentary on the cheeks. So gorgeous. And then also this one, because I mean, come on, it's a uh, Life's a Peach, which is, again, is a very, very bright peach. These are both matte, but the other one that I have is a very strong shimmer. It's kind of a dupe for NARS Orgasm in the shade Rose Gold. And then I also have tried trios from them. I have one in Pink Spirit, which is like crazy bright pink. So if you haven't looked into Sleek in a while, I truly, truly love their products. And uh, I'll never get rid of these guys. It's funny because I wasn't sure about doing this video because I didn't know if I'd have enough blushes and now I'm like, wow, I'm mentioning a lot of blushes, but I was like, I can't leave any of these out. <laughs> the next blush is from Vasanti and I also like to give you different recommendations because um, you might like 
even though I'm recommending a ton of peach blushes, they're all, you know, different availability, different price tags, different ingredients, some are cruelty free, some aren't. So I like to give you options based on, you know, because you're not going to like everything that I like. You obviously don't need to go out and buy all of these. But anyways, Vasanti is a Canadian brand. They're available at most drugstores, I think. Uh, this actually is kind of marketed or listed anyways as a mineral bronzer but it's in the shade sun peach glow and i traveled with the bomb swiss dot every time i traveled or tarte seduce or sometimes both when i was packing a little more excessively in my makeup <laughs> um but then i ended up actually traveling with this and i always like to mention when i travel with something because that means i truly love it so so much and also i had hit pan on swiss dot and i was a little bit scared to travel with it because they can just be a little bit more fragile once the pan starts showing uh, and this kind of filled that void for me it's a beautiful i would say matte with a slight amount of satin in there no shimmer or anything like that just a beautiful color and it's a canadian brand i always like to point out canadian brands because i think they can get totally overlooked and they're a lot of the time underrated and this to me is just such a gorgeous gorgeous blush let's go back to the drugstore peaches this one is from burt's bees i did a video with them uh, this one last year maybe and this one is in the shade bare peach if you can't find this in store they also actually sell Burt's Bees on amazon.ca there's some other brands too like L'Oreal and I think Maybelline that have a lot of their products on Amazon right now which is really exciting for Canadians because sometimes finding drugstore launches can be annoying and they have really good prices on Amazon as well but um, this is a very nice kind of neutrally peach it is if if I was like a lot darker than I am now, I don't think I would be able to wear it. It's one of the lighter peaches than, that I'm mentioning today. But again, really, really great. How many times can I, how many ways can I describe a peach blush? But this one is matte uh, as well. Burt's Bees is uh, cruelty free, of course, but then they're also 100% natural. And what I like about that is that it's 100% natural, but they actually work because I love my products, I'm a product junkie, and you know, I think the ingredients are important, but it's not my number one thought, and it never has been. But as consumers, we're all getting smarter, we're learning more things, and you know, people have sensitivities to certain ingredients and things like that, but for me, I don't really have any sensitivities, and of course I want to be like healthy, but I also want my makeup to work. So what I like about the Birth Bees makeup brand is that a lot of the products, or all the products are natural and they all still work and perform like any other makeup. So this shade is really great. And then there's another one called Toasted Cinnamon, which is a really kind of neutrally beigey brown, which doesn't sound that good, but I really like that one. And I'll link my video where I use this one down below. Okay, I swear we're almost done. I only have two blushes left another peach it is the ultra blush from face atelier they are a canadian brand primarily i would say used by makeup artists but i absolutely love this blush as you can see it's a little bit brighter than some of the other peaches that i've shown today it's a matte blush super super long lasting i've had such great experiences with everything i've tried from face atelier one of my favorite products from them is their ultra matte you can spray that on it's kind of like a spray primer for oily skin and then it also acts as a uh, setting spray but i like it as kind of like a prep spray for my makeup especially when i was really really oily um but this is probably my favorite favorite item from face atelier i'll link to them down below they're not like super readily available but the products are really great and a lot of the time it's a makeup artist or someone who works in theater using it so you know it's going to be long lasting it's going to be good quality uh and yeah i was really really impressed with this lastly i want to mention my most affordable blush of today and it is from Essence. This one is in the shade Satin Love and they've got a few different blushes. I really like this one because it's just super super neutral and easy to use. I wouldn't say that this is 100% the most long lasting of all the blushes that I'm mentioning today because you have like the Balm and Stain, the Buxom Primer Infused. Some of them are just a little bit better in lasting power but of course those are a much higher price tag. So not that this disappears off your face but it's going to depend on your skin type, if you're using a setting spray, your foundation, etc. Um, but I did just want to point that out. But overall, I still reach for this all the time. It's a great neutral shade. It has a uh, kind of a satin finish. I don't know that I've tried any of the other blushes because they do tend to be quite light from Essence. I know that they have plans to make their shades deeper because over, you know, kind of historically, Essence has been a very fair skinned brand. So there's not a ton from their face products that I have tried that's not like a translucent matte powder so I did end up using this and this is actually a repurchase for me I broke 
the first one that I had and I went back and repurchased it which I think definitely means that I really like this one. So there you have it. Hopefully I have not bored you to death while talking about blushes. That's another reason sometimes I hesitate to do these videos about like my favorite whatevers because a lot of the time my favorites have a lot of similar attributes. So I'm kind of like repeating myself. So let me know if you liked this style of video. I can do it for other products. And let me know down below what your favorite blushes are, of course. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.